Hello gamers of the world and welcome to Video Game Bros. My name is Daniel aka Jack McCurry and today I will bring you another Black Desert Online uh, crafting guide. And I recently did a guide to how you can build a trade wagon and then the Medaya uh, expansion hit and uh, they released a new wagon which is called the Merchant Wagon and I, I was like I get to I have to build that. So uh, Let's get started. Uh, before you can start uh, building it, you need to have the correct house, which is uh, the Altenova Wagon Workshop, which is Altenova is the new. Let's let's look at it. The new town, which is the eastmost town. So this area is all new, and there's the the town Altenova. You need to have 5-8 Wagon Workshop level 2. This takes quite a while to uh, upgrade to this level. I think the first is like 2.5 hours and the second one is like 5 hours. So that's, that's a full day of uh, upgrading uh, the workshop. But when you have it, you can make the Merchant Wagon. And this is how it looks. Go look at the stats here. Um, so it's similar to the trade wagon, but I noticed that it requires four wagon horses uh, to make and that tells me that you could probably attach four horses to it in the end, making it a, a very good middle step between like the, the low tiers of wagons and the, uh, and the, the top tier, the noble wagon. And it will be great for, for training horses, since you can have four horses. But uh, I have, have not confirmed this, so we will see in the end of the video. So, let's get started. So, the first material is the brass. Uh, and brass is an alloy made of copper and zinc. So we start by looking at copper. Uh, there's two ways of, gath uh, of gathering copper. The first one is to have your workers gather it for you and uh, to do this you uh, must go to a copper node and uh, invest in it to then have a worker mine it for you. There are several uh, copper nodes around uh, Velia. You have one in the coastal cave, one in the goblin cave and two in the imp cave. There's also one down here uh, in the North Heidel Quarry. The other way to get copper is by equipping a pickaxe and gathering it from uh, copper found around the world. Usually in the caves where, uh, where the copper nodes are. Uh, you can also uh, gather it from granite which is uh, rocks that are scattered around the Velia area for example. The next material needed for the brass is zinc and uh, you can get this uh, the same way as the copper either by having your workers do it uh, or gather it yourself and there are uh, three nodes uh, that came along with the Medaya expansion where you can get zinc and it, it is the abundant iron mine and uh, the ancient fissure up here and also Omer lava cave here. Um, all these are in the Medaya area. You can also gather it yourself with a pickaxe and you get it from uh, either bloodstone, sandstone or andesite uh, or regular zinc notes which the stones can be found uh, scattered all over um, Medaya as well as this mountain northeast of Heidel. Um, and zinc should be found around the uh, caves where you uh, have the zinc nodes on the map. Next step is to process the metals. And we do this by opening our inventory. 
and uh, melt uh, select produce heating and inserting the ores five ores will result in uh, one or one to two metal shards of the same type so five copper ores will result in one to two melted copper shards same thing with the zinc when we have uh, our melted copper melted metals we need to melt it again into uh, brass ingots and to do this yourself you need to have the knowledge of heating beginner and you get this from a quest which i will link down in the description of this video if you don't have that or don't want to get it you can do it by um, investing in a mineral workbench uh, like this and uh, you can have your um, your workers craft it for you so it takes five melted shards of each type making one brass ingot uh, one good thing about doing it in the workbench is that it will not require energy from you but uh, instead stamina of your workers uh, a good thing about doing it yourself is you will gain a processing level as well as uh, it can if you are lucky you can get two ingots from one process uh, repetition making the whole crafting process cheaper in the end next material is the acacia plywood and uh, the the, gra uh, the raw material for this is acacia timber, which you get from uh, acacia trees. So you can get it two ways. Uh, again, you can have your workers uh, m uh, gather it for you. There is one acacia node um, available and it's in the Stonetail Wasteland. Uh, you can invest in this and have your workers uh, mine from this. Since it, it's only one, it uh, will not be very efficient, but you can have them gather from here while you gather the rest yourself. Or you can have them gather here while you do the rest of the materials. Uh, if you want to gather it yourself, uh, you can equip a lumbering axe and um, acacia trees are scattered um, like uh, all over the, the new area here in Medaya and uh, it should not be a problem to find the trees when we have our timber uh, we need to process it and the first step is to chop it into planks and we do this by opening our inventory selecting produce shopping and inputting the timber five timber will make one to two planks um, and uh, the next step is to further process it to plywood plywood again requires a knowledge the uh, shopping beginner and this is also a quest you need to do to to gain this and i will link it in the description as well if you don't want to do this quest or uh, don't have the level for it or anything you can do it in a wood workbench similar to the brass by um, selecting acacia plywood and ten. you see 10 planks makes one plywood uh, and the same thing here as with the brass um, this is good because it won't take energy from you instead stamina from your workers and um, if you do it on your own, you have the possibility of getting two plywoods from one processing procedure, uh, which is also good. Plus, you get the um, processing uh, level. The next material is the soft hide. And to get these, you need to... Um, you need to gather uh, hides from animals and in particular uh, deer, fox or sheep. Uh, so equip your tanning knife and uh, I found a spot uh, or there is a spot northwest 
just northwest of Heidel, where there's a bunch of foxes, uh, and just uh, skin their corpses, and you will gain a uh, fox hide. Uh, as I said, deer and sheep works uh, also, but I went with the fox. And we need to process this into soft hide, and we do this by drying it. And uh, five hides of either deer, sheep or fox makes one to three soft hides. And we need to get 15 soft hides. The next material is the blackstone powder. And you can get these by uh, ha having a refinery and having your workers uh, craft blackstone powder from rough stones. Rough stones uh, you get from uh, mining any rock in the world with a pickaxe. Um, but there is another way to get blackstone powder, which I recently learned from a YouTube comment. And it is by grinding up crystals. So if you have any uh, uh, unusable uh, or rather crystals that's, that's not useful for your class, uh, you can grind them up, which makes uh, blackstone powder directly. The last component for our wagon is the wagon horses. And you can buy these of a stable manager in his shop. And we are gonna need four horses for this wagon. All right, so we got our, our materials for the merchant wagon and we are ready to start crafting it. You can see them here. I will also put a, uh, a, li a list of the materials in the description as well as, as uh, estimates of how much of the raw materials uh, you are uh, approximately gonna need to get. Um, and now we put it in our storage here uh, with the storage keeper so we can start uh, crafting it so all everything goes into the storage then we hit uh, go to our map and we go to our uh, wagon workbench and manage crafting and then we select the merchant wagon and now we have to have our workers uh, process uh, all the materials we have here into uh, the wagon they can work uh, simultaneously on one thing or they can uh, you can split them up and have them work on several things at a time so let's have uh, this goblin just finish off the the horses directly so he max out here so he will do each horse each horse will take 23 minutes for him and uh, I just queue up all the four times uh, directly. So now I can leave him here for like uh, uh, one and a half hour or whatever. And uh, he will finish all the horses. While he does that, we can have uh, another worker here uh, working on the plywood, for example. So let's just, he has 10 stamina, so we'll max out. When he's done with this, uh, we still have uh, two more plywoods to, to complete. Um, and I have one more worker, so let's start him. I could have him do two plywoods now, and then that would be done. Uh, but I will start him on, uh, on the ingots. So you do this and when they're done you give them beer to refill their stamina uh, until all these say complete which is when you have taken all the they've taken all the materials from the storage and um, uh, converted them into our lovely wagon and when they are complete uh, this uh, wagon reg registration uh, item will appear in our uh, storage and uh, we can go reg register it. So I will cut back when uh, this whole process is complete. Let's collect uh, the registration from our storage. 
Let's see. Here it is. So with the registration, let's head down to the stable manager. All right. So when we are at the stable manager, we're going to register our new wagon. So we hit register emblem, right click the wagon. We give it a fancy name. Oh, it almost has a million lifespan. That's nice. Let's register it. And here it is. Oh, it's a f it has four horses. Oh my god. Nice. I'm excited, guys. Let's try to connect our horses here. Connect. Let's connect everyone. Two. I can't hear well since I was yes. a horse when I was a kid. There we go. Let's take this out. Looking good. Oh, it's like a sport car version of a wagon. Let's uh, let's go somewhere. Let's go. Let's just go far away. Looking good, and I have one blue horse, <laughs> not matching. Okay, let's turn off the UI. And uh, enjoy this glorious ride. Sweet ride. If you thought this guide was helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see more guides in the future, uh, just subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I will see you in another video.